liberal attitude towards the world at large, if they can go against an entire community on the basis of certain information they read in the New York Times or hear the news, yeah. I think then that is something that needs to be addressed by at least me. As a filmmaker, so I have a platform that's impressionable. Mm. And that's the reason why I took it up. Uh, Shahrukh, <coughs> have you ever experienced uh, the prejudice? Of course, Kabir has spoken about you know, not getting a US visa a few times because of your name. Uh, you were stopped famously uh, at an airport, held on to for a couple of hours. <coughs> Some people thought that was a prelude to, you know, my name is Khan. Yeah, right. <laughs> Obama's on our speed dial. <laughs> <laughs> but have, have you, let's say, post-2611, do you feel, and because Najib Jung has written about this, that the pressure on Muslims to wear their patriotism, to wear their badge of loyalty, do you feel that even at your stage in life, somehow that, that you are looked upon as a Muslim to make that condemnation clear all the time, that, you're, that even you are expected to clarify your position on your religion and terrorism and fundamentalism and all the rest of it. <clears throat> See, I'll, I'll, I'll be very honest. I mean, uh, what I say sometimes on public platforms, and I say them because I'm an entertainer, I'm an actor, but I don't think uh, ever, ever if I'm a, a question uh, or have to clarify my stand on being a Muslim or an Indian, I would actually from my heart never clarify it. But yes, of course, if somebody's not understanding it, I'd say it. I've had no uh, big prejudice against me. And that's what I want all the young Muslims to know, very, very clearly, wherever they are coming from. That first, let's just get that out of our heads, that people are prejudiced. But is that see, because you're Shah Rukh Khan? Uh, I, I don't know. See, Before uh, you were Shah Rukh Khan, I guess those were different times. We you know, I was we didn't 25, in, 20 yeah. to 25 is the time I can talk about. But I've never, never, never been picked on uh, about my, uh, you know, uh, the, the religion I belong to. And I really want this to be very clear. If we keep on also thinking, see, forget the fact that there is a certain section of people because of the action of certain section of people think that Islam is a violent religion. Accept it. But we as uh, Muslims, I think we need to be very clear. Let's take this out that I need to explain it. Like I'll tell you very honestly, my kids get stopped at um, security because their name is Khan also. It comes on that in America specifically. They have those SSS mm -hmm. things on it. They go, so they say, why are we stopped? So I say, you know, it's fun. We are special. So they just go on. They really do. They, we're taken to a different section with those feet on the ground. So they just stand and I say, we are special. You know, you guys are stars. So, you know, hopefully they'll grow up thinking they're Muslim. But I don't have any issue with it because I think it's all right. If action of some people have put a little blot or uh, to say the least on the whole religion, I think we need to accept it and say it's all right. And we're not paying a price for it. Uh, that I won't do. I will never but try to tell anyone. I'm not going to justify anyway, any, to anyone how good it is to be a Muslim. I'm not going to justify to anyone how wonderful it is to be an Indian. But I'm very clear that, yes, we have to accept the fact that there is a blot. There is some kind of a dog. And if it is there, certain things are going to be said against us. This is the life we lead. These are the times we have created. This is the world we have chosen upon ourselves by the action of you. Now, that is why it is more important that if all of us start thinking like this, okay, look, uh, let me go and let Karan decide. I like this guy, Pui <coughs> Sharuk. He's talented. He's an actor. And yes, I'm not a specialist in my religion. I'm not a specialist. Yeah. Many a times people ask me, do you do this? And I'm like, no, but I'm still a Muslim. Yeah. Do you do this? Like even singing and dancing, in a certain sense, in a, in a very uh, uh, orthodox, orthodox sense, yeah. is the wrong thing to do. But I live, I make a living out of singing and dancing. So how do I explain? My logic is, please can we understand the, all the clergy, all the uh, mullahs, all the ulemas who know that they're specialists. Just because I'm not a specialist does not make me less of a Muslim. But that's the hub, in a sense, of the debate. Najib Jung, you wrote a very interesting piece saying <coughs> every time there's a terror attack, the, the Muslims are asked upon to prove their patriotism, you know, uh, in an overt way. But in a sense, what we're hearing here is that these are the times we live in. I remember uh, Saif saying after Qurban, Karan, that, you know, that old cliche that all, uh, that we have to recognize the fact that while all Muslims are not terrorists, all terrorists in the way that we recognize them on the global stage are Muslim. Barkha, karma aate rahe, Hindustan banta raha. It's 1200 years, 1300 years since the Muslims started coming to India. The Muslim is part of the DNA of India now. There is no denying that. What is concerning and disconcerting are, are posters like this. Where is this Muslim? I don't know. The Muslim of today is a regular guy. And which is, which indeed, image disconcerts you in particular? The skull cap and the beard, the woman yeah, in the burqa? There's a gentleman sitting next to you with the skull I, cap I and the beard. I entirely agree. I entirely agree. Yes. But this, and this, this type is perhaps less than a percent in India. 
The other guys are completely regular. I have a university with 20,000 boys and girls. The girls are dressed as these boys here, or the, these girls here. The boys are like this. You are a product. Kabir is a product of, of Jamia. Yeah. Are you different? The young Muslim of India today is part of this. India is in his DNA. He is looking for jobs here. He is looking to lead a life here, a regular life here. And so it hurts him a bit if there is a riot, if there is a program in, in, in Gujarat, which he believes is state managed. So are you saying, in a sense, and that's interesting, because that's where I found the difference in Kabir and, and Shah Rukh's argument when you talk about the... That's why the Nawaz scene is so compelling, because maybe, Najib, you would argue that when Shah Rukh wears his skull cap in, in the film, that's a stereotype of a Muslim that isn't the dominant image of the modern Indian Muslim. No, the skull cap wearing during a cap is only a mark of respect that you, when you bow to the Almighty, your head is covered. And therefore, the skull cap is just symbolic of that thing. But in India, when the Islam came in and well, there was a huge influence of, of Hinduism over Islam in a way, then they learned to cover their heads. But that's only a mark of respect. Islam nowhere mandates to you that you should be covering your head all the time. Dr. Nayak, uh, you know, you, you're on TV more than I am. Uh, so, <laughs> but, but the image, this construct of this image, which Najib says is actually offensive to a lot of people of our generation, where does this construct come from? That when you think of the Muslim in visual images, almost always is somebody like yourself. Uh, actually, as far as Muslims are concerned, when I see a Muslim wearing a cap, having a beard, I mean, I'm proud of it. When I see a lady covering her head, I'm proud of it. First, you should understand what is the meaning of the word Muslim. Muslim means a person who submits his will to Almighty God. And Islam, to understand Islam, don't look at the Muslims. To understand Hinduism, don't look at the Hindus. Go to the original scriptures. So if you go to the scriptures, the Quran and the Sahih Hadith, I mean, I'm sorry, I differ with uh, uh, Brother Najib. There are various Hadith in Sahih Bukhari if you read volume number seven, in the uh, uh, book of dress, that the Prophet covered his head. So covering the head is the sunnah of the Prophet. So to say that covering the head is not a part of Muslim identity is totally wrong. The beard is a part of the Muslim identity, wearing the cap, or at least covering the head, whether with a scarf or with a uh, gathra like the Arabs do. But sir, what about what Shah Rukh said, and I know a lot of my friends say this, that and all of us, no matter what faith we come in, we interpret our faith differently. We take away some things, we don't do some things. Does that make us any less of Hindus, Muslims, Christians? No, as I said, that Muslim is a person who is submissive to God. So you cannot say a liberal Muslim or a moderate Muslim. You can say a practicing Muslim or partially practicing or non-practicing. <laughs> That's more correct. You know, and to understand Islam, don't look at the Muslim, don't look at me. Go to the scriptures. That is the reason I give talks on Islam and comparative religion. But so as far as I the stereotype is concerned. Uh, Kabi, so, yeah. I, I find that uh, a too narrow a definition of Islam. I personally reject all rituals. But Islam is part of my culture and my ethos. I'm as proud a Muslim as any, any, uh, anybody else on this podium. But I don't have to wear it on my sleeve. And I think that's too narrow a definition of Islam. Uh, I'd like to make a point. Yeah. Uh, they talked about people being uh, uh, stereotyped because of the beard and, and the cap and the hijab. <clears throat> then we should say that all Sikhs are stereotyped. Anyone who wears a turban Is and wears not, a beard. It's not the same, no, no. though. It's, not the, it's same, not the same. But what has happened, I'll tell you, in fact, India has become, in a strange sense, more liberal because when Yusuf Khan entered the film industry, and adopted the name of Dilip Kumar, that was a time when the whole of India was pretty prejudiced against Muslims, let me tell you. And Meena Kumari, who was she? She was also a Muslim. Why were all the names? Shah Rukh is an amazing example of a Muslim who is now the Badshah of Bollywood with a Muslim name. He didn't have to change his name. So something has w happened. Would you have ever changed your name? To Akshay Kumar, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I would never change my name. Now the reverse is happening, Barkha. I know of boys who come from small towns, want to become actors. They so change the name to Khan because they think yeah. that's the badge of honor. That's Mana. the way to go. <laughs> <become laughs> no, no, it's but Khan or Kapoor. Kapoor. Rahman. So, sorry, Najib? But Dilip Kumar has now become Allah Rakha Rahman. Yeah. So that's the change. But, but, but now I... he's no longer a star. Yeah. Uh, Shah Rukh, you want to make a point and then Soha and Madhani. Yeah, just, yeah. I just, just want to say one thing. That, yeah. uh, you know, it's, it's, I, I, I just want to know very clearly, and I'm a Muslim, and I want to know, is it more important for me to look Muslim and see Muslim or to feel Muslim? 
I yeah. fully respect the scriptures. I fully respect uh, all the hadiths. I yeah. have read the Quran in my own uh, way. Mm. Uh, in Arabic.